Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncey. I wanted to come on here just real quick, just to share a word of encouragement with someone because the Holy Spirit was ministering this to me um, and I just felt led to share it with someone on today. And so the Lord had been talking to me, um, actually I want to say a couple days ago, just ministering to my spirit about don't just pray, but prepare, okay? Don't just pray for a thing or about a thing, a certain, a certain situation or circumstance, or prepare for the answer, okay? Um, and so he led me to uh, the book of Second James, verses 14 through 17. And this is what it says. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Okay, so God is saying, prayer is wonderful. I need you to pray. But the prayers cannot go to work if you don't go to work. The prayers cannot come forth if you don't put feet to your prayers. What is the feet to your prayers? The feet to your prayers is action, okay? So prayer coupled with preparation will bring the results, okay? So if you're praying for a car, praying for a kingdom spouse, praying to God um, for a home, just things like this, whatever you are believing God for, you have to prepare for it. You've got to start making the natural um, provision for it, okay? So for instance, if you're praying for a car, start saving up, go car shopping. Whether you have the money in the account or not, you're moving, child, we walk by what? faith baby and not by sight i know it ain't there yet but it'll be there so let me just go on and pick out the car that i want okay let me go on and uh, start budgeting so i can make sure that i'm a good steward over the car when god bless me blesses me with it not if but when he blesses me with it okay the same thing for a house go ahead and start house shopping look at the neighborhood that you want to be in the the schools that are in the area for your kids Ch baby move by faith okay don't just pray in faith and just sit there and wait for God to know. God is saying, baby, this is a partnership. We do this thing together, okay? You do your part. Best believe I'm going to come through on mine, but I need you to work with me. You got to give me something to put my hand on. You got to give me something to put my blessing on. I can't put my hand on it if you're not going to put it out there, okay? So you can't just put your prayers out there, but you got to put the application out there as well. Don't just pray about a house, but put in the application. My God, don't just pray for a car, but apply for the car. Come on now. Don't just believe me for a husband, but prepare yourself for your man. Okay, baby, that's a word for somebody. Prepare yourself for your wife. Okay, don't just pray to me. Don't just believe me for it. Move for it. Where's your action? God is saying move with it. Okay, move on it. Don't just speak on it. Don't just pray about it. Be about it. Put some hustle to your faith. Put some action to your faith. And best believe, when you couple that faith with works, God gonna come through big time. Don't just pray about it. Prepare for it.